is rising Kogi people. Right Honorable Ahmed Mohammed, a Nigerian politician, a businessman and philanthropist, was born in Lagos on the 14th of August 1978. He is from Abache in Ankwa local government area of Kogi State. He is currently the Deputy Speaker of Kogi State House of Assembly and the member representing Ankwa 1 constituency. He has been a hard-working, dedicated young man that I ever know. Uh, we met sometimes in 2010 during his first outing and we're together but his agenda has been his people first and I haven't seen that in his uh, political uh, exhibition uh, we decided to pick up with him his early educational pursuit started in the year 1982 when he together with the parents moved from Lagos to Portacourt I attended State Primary School Air Force Base in Port Harcourt. And I proceeded to Stella Maris College where I started my JS1 to SS2. I came down to Iga Community College in Olamaburo local government area where I enrolled for my SSC. His quest for knowledge engendered him to proceed to River State Polytechnic Bori where he obtained his national and higher national diploma certificates in banking and finance. His first appointment was with Universal Trust Bank where he worked as an accountant. He then went on to work with Akpos Marine Limited a leading marine and haulage company in River State as the company's accountant. Due to his result driven approach towards achieving tax and objectives, within a short period of time, he rose to become the finance manager. Served there for about eight years. After then, I opened my own company named Amedis Consign Limited, a marine and haulage company. In 2010, Honorable Ahmed Mohammed ventured into politics. The reason for this, according to him, as at that time, was to impact lives of many people, especially those of his constituency, when his little money could no longer be enough for his many philanthropic projects. I looked at it that if I come into politics, I'll be able to impact more on the people, because my people are predominantly farmers. In 2015, I decided to run for the same status of assembly. I got the primaries. I won landslide against an incumbent. We went into the general election with fanfare. We got it, but we were robbed in that general election. I went for redress in the courts. And to God be the glory, I reclaim my mandate from the courts in 2016. I was now opportune to serve the people of Angkwa One constituency. Between 2016 and now, Right Honorable Ahmed Mohammed has so far demonstrated exceptionally well on the floor of the House by raising series of motions, seconding motions, sponsoring bills, sharing ad hoc committees and has established a good working relationship between himself, his colleague and the people of Angkwa One constituency. Assigned, he has sponsored so many bills like uh, that of the Kogi Youth Development uh, Commission which has been signed and uh, it is now in law in Kogi State. I put all the strength, efforts to see that that bill is being passed and it has been accepted too and it's a hope that the youth in Kogi State, they are placed at the center stage and just like our neighbor governor, his passion for youth that receiving the deputy speaker, I should know that uh, that also had to do with the performance of a man. That position as the deputy speaker and a whole lot of motions. Like and currently, he's also working on a bill for on erosion control uh, for a need to establish a commission to manage the issue of uh, erosion. 
which is one of the major challenges we are facing in Kogi State and in Igala land. I think there was a time I also joined in supporting in a particular motion that had to do with the College of Education and all that. So he did pretty well. As part of his constituency outreach, he has provided motorized borehole to communities, building and rehabilitation of schools, provide health care services where necessary, and above all, established a strong relationship between himself and the people of Angpa district and beyond. As an employer of labor, he has employed and empowered over 500 Angpa sons and daughters to his oil and gas marine business in Port Harcourt. Through his foundation, he has enrolled over 200 Angpa sons and daughters via his scheme, Ahmed Mohammed Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Scheme. Offered scholarship to students in Angpa local government area from secondary school to university level. He has it on record as the first state legislator to flag off the biggest water project ever in Nigeria tagged Operation Water for All, which has so far provided water to about 35 communities in Angpa local government area and more projects are ongoing. I have credit files where if my people have challenges, they go there to get health services. So these are little provisions I've made for my people to see that they cannot be stocked at any time with these important uh, amenities that they need. Being somebody who has passion for uh, good governance, uh, humanitarian services, helping the needy, and uh, I, we saw, saw that as a, a breakthrough. The man that have displayed progressive tendencies on the life of the populace, not only his constituents, but he goes abroad to touch everybody's life. I was focused, I was determined to see that my people are being liberated. Honorable Ahmed Mohammed described what it was for him growing up as a child in the early stage of life. Growing up as a child, it was not easy, it was difficult, although I was comfortable, but I'm someone that does not really look onto himself alone. I looked at people around me, it was not that easy to get all I want I want at that particular stage in life. However, the young ambitious Ahmed was never tired of pushing through. This, according to him, was because he had always been motivated by the resilient nature of the current president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, who he sees then as a role model. His lifestyle and how he was very passionate about this country to rule this country for the second time. And, um, what gave him that confidence is, uh, is integrity and um, I see him as a role model that at that early stage when I came into politics, if I can be able to demonstrate such capacity, such level of integrity, such a level of sincerity to my people, the future will be very bright for me. Honorable Ahmed epitomizes virtue in all dealings, providing mentorship to a lot of people. He has had a great positive impact on many people that come his way in the journey of life. Yeah, he helps the widow, the orphan, orphans who could not pay their school fees. He has assisted uh, in the healthcare sector for widows, orphans. He has been doing very well. He had so many scholarship schemes. He had, we had so many uh, medium we reach out to people. But, um, a philanthropist by nature. I like sharing what I have with people. I don't believe whatever I get is for me alone. And um, that, that gave me into politics to see that I can be able to accommodate so many persons with what I'm getting. He's somebody who is tireless in service to humanity. It uh, from Angpa, like you know, I'm from Olamaboro, but I know him from Olamaboro years back because of his uh, philanthropic uh, gestures. 
Ahmed Mohammed is a committed Muslim who knows his God, believes in the oneness of Allah and rely on him for everything. He also believes that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. People who work with him attest to this. He's a dedicated Muslim. You can't take that away from him. He's a dedicated Muslim. He's a, a true and a committed, a very dedicated Muslim. To an extent, I can really vouch for him. He, he doesn't joke with uh, his faith with God. Right Honorable Muhammad Muhammad does not believe in a religious sentiment. In as much as he's a Muslim, he has regards for every other institutions like the Christians and even the pagan. He's a pious Muslim, a man that believes in the Holy Quran, uh, an advocate of uh, Islam as a religion that believes in helping the needy. I'm a Muslim by birth and up to now I'm a Muslim and I'm a faithful Muslim. I believe in Islam. Right Honorable Ahmed Mohammed narrated how he met his wife and Lisa got married to her in Portacourt. My wife, mom and my dad works in the same place. They work with Central Bank of Nigeria and uh, we grew up together. Although I'm older than her, with about uh, four years, uh, I saw her growing up and um, I know her very well and when I was being favored after school to get a job and I need a partner I saw her as the best partner for me at that time Honorable Ahmed Mohammed advises youths in Kogi to be upright in all affairs that could propel them to greatness they should be patient they should be focused they should not see the present challenges as the end of their life. But uh, there are so many opportunities ahead of us. We that are opportune to find ourselves in positions like this, we are doing all things possible to see that we elevate, we create opportunity for the upcoming youth in Kogi State. We are not turning our back on them. Where he is now, he has done well for his people and he needs to do more for the people and that is why we are looking to the upper level. It is our prayer and with our encouragement, our support that we see him grow politically and in all phases of life. I want to see myself at the, the top. By the special grace of Allah in my political career. I wish him all the very best in life. I wish him and I pray that God should bless him so that he continue to bless. The less privilege. The legendary English writer, poet, and dramatist of all time, William Shakespeare, in his classical comedy Twelfth Night, said, Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Right Honorable Ahmed Mohammed is a born leader. This is Rising Kogi People.